So as some of you may know, I'm a fan of Devil's Food Cake 69 and- Oh look! The escape mental patient from Arkham Asylum! Man, prison can really change a man, can't it? And as it turns out, recently he's been bombarded with docs on his video, Join the Egalitarianism Movement Now. The reason for this is that some old dude- I know he's not in his 20s, that's for sure. Wow. How unoriginal can you be? Oh yeah, I'll just photoshop an image by just drawing some squiggly lines and put a fedora hat on him because hell, it's just funny that MRAs are fat white men with fedoras and I'm sure my audience will laugh, just like on how Adam Sandler movies are funny because they contain deers licking poop. But don't you dare make a feminist look like a bra-burning fat lesbian that never shaves her armpits and pretty much hate men. Well, I can do the exact same thing, but even better, allow me. This is what your original avatar looks like. This is what happens when I feel so fucking bored and I want to make an MRA out of you. Sure, it's not the best, but I think I made my point. And this is you with a piece of shit on top of your head. And if I had the tools, I would do a lot more. I has responded to him, and I'm going to respond to his response because, quite frankly... Uh, it's very smart, and it deserves to be acknowledged. Uh, now, a lot of what he says is just sort of flippant remarks with puppets that don't really mean anything. The puppets are meant for entertainment. It's not even his usual gimmick. However, what you just said can be translated to, I'm too lazy to respond to every point that the mighty doctor has made. <laughs> You think you might have fucked up there, Paul? You have done your entire twitchy little life, you shifty little bitch. Stop playing with your hair! There's only four square inches of it are invisible. You make the point. Because you are actually foobar. Dude, you're a broken robot fuckstick. And your world is upside down. And I'm really, really struggling to think of any good advice for you. I love it on how you put circus music. Like, it's almost as if you wanted to make your video longer, but you could not find any points to make, so you just add music! Uh, and him editing marbles to be taken out of context, because it's funny, I guess. It's called editing and sentence mixing. Maybe you haven't noticed, but anyone can do that! So, congratulations, Dr. George Carlin. You're very funny. Uh, I'm just gonna skip past that and respond to his actual points. I'm bored of you now, Paul. And my arms are getting very fucking tired, so... <clears throat> Do you even lift, bro? Eight minutes of a fucking puppet show and your arms are tired? So by attacking his points, you mean just insult him by saying, Oh look, you can't hold up your hands up in the air for eight minutes, duh, dumbass. You may not notice, but there is a thing called rehearsal. Not everyone just simply roll with the video and just respond to parts. No, they need to entertain the audience. And what better way to do that than to put up a show and read off a script? Michael. Even yours truly reads off a script every now and then. Why do you think I don't show my face unless I'm making updates? Hey, Paul. Have you ever... Like, flown across an ocean... to defend women's right to free speech? <laughs> Something tells me I've done more for women's rights this summer than you have done in your entire twitchy little life, you shifty little... Well, I'd love to see all this work you've done for women's rights. Uh, also, I will give you this. It is very impressive that you know what a woman is, given that you're an MRA. Oh, snap! How original! MRAs don't know what women are, duh! Seriously, you are so unoriginal! Even Sonic Recolors are more original than your jokes! Even the title of your video is unoriginal. All you did was take Dr. Miranda McCann's title and just add the words, In Water. You think people won't notice that, Michael? Everything you say and do is almost too easy to predict. Even your future video responses, I know what arguments you're going to make, and I know what insults you're going to throw at me. I even know what thumbnail you're going to end up making. It's going to be relevant to shitting pants. Maybe a baby wearing a diaper or just a big shit stain in the pants. Either way, we all know how you're going to do things. It's like you've gotten... The uh, now, on with you achieving so much more than marbles for women's rights. Let's take a look at what feminism has accomplished for women. 
He's asking what Marbles has done as a feminist, not what feminism accomplished. Taking part of a group doesn't mean that you have accomplished helping the liberation of women. If I ask you as a feminist, what have you done for women's rights? You don't rely on the past. We already know how this is going to work. You're going to point out the past work of feminism, which was around the second wave, then claim it to be more successful than the MRAs, even though this happened about 60 to 70 years ago. Hate to break it to you, but you treat this like a Christian treats Jesus Christ. Without Jesus, you would have suffered in your own sin. Past achievements of a certain group is nothing if either that group is A, become completely useless and become more redundant because their achievements have already been made, so there really is no need for them, or B, their past achievements are overshadowed over the fact that they are assholes to begin with, or over time they became assholes. You know what the Nazis did, right? They slaughtered many Jews. But you know what else happened with the Nazis? They created better medicine for people. They were also the first to build a nuclear weapon, not to mention the creation of the Volkswagen. So should I become a Nazi because of modern day medicine? As opposed to what the MRM has accomplished for anyone. Do you not know who the Honey Badger Brigade is? These people are the, are the most popular groups of people within the MRM. And they take part of Gamergate, standing for ethics in journalism. They have donated money to fund women in gaming. Compared to them, you don't even exist. Just a figment of everyone's rational imagination. Our feminism has accomplished women's suffrage. Great. That can be debatable. Sure, they were apart, but not necessarily the reason there is change. Greater access to contraception and abortion. The improvement of women's pay relative to men. Reducing the gender pay gap that exists across various different positions. Even though they still complain about the wage gap, oh wait, that's not second wave feminism we're talking about, we're talking about third wave feminism, where we need to teach men not to rape even though we already know that rape is bad. Some people just don't care. And so on, and so on. You just find the easiest of examples and just put it out there. It's like you never bothered to do any research. Now, here's what the MRM has accomplished. If only that was true. Lucky for us, it's not. Historically, anyway, being on the anti-civil rights side of the table is usually a bad decision. If you're trying to imply that being an MRA is anti-woman, I have to say that your brain is like a horse with a broken leg. It's no good for anything. Sooner or later, it will die out. Sir, you, sir, done fucked up your line of reasoning here. This is what I mean. Paul, you have an impressive sarcasm gland. What sarcasm? Marbles is an egalitarian. He advocates for the rights of everyone. He clearly said that in the video. He never stated once that he was an egalitarian. He only stated that he was in for equal rights. And just because you're in for equal rights doesn't automatically mean you're an egalitarianist. And while being an egalitarianist is pretty much on par of being for equality, you do not have to even identify as one because there are other groups of people that are in for equality. Humanist, e equalist, feminist, and even nudist. I even talked to a few nudists on YouTube, and guess what they tell me? They tell me that when you're nude, you're basically on the same level field as the rich and the poor. Some feminists do not identify as an egalitarianist, because being a feminist means you're actively fighting against sexism, while being an egalitarianist is just a belief and nothing more. So for all we know, Marbles could be a fucking humanist nudist feminist. Just look at the video and tell me where he has stated that he specifically said he was an egalitarianist. I believe everyone should have equal rights. I advocate for the rights of everyone. 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 Nowhere in the video has he said that he was an egalitarian. And even, even if he was, guess what? Doesn't make an excuse of making egalitarianism look like a bunch of lazy people. And the, how do you try to make the world a better place? The worse you make the world. <laughs> because you are actually FUBAR, dude. 
You're a broken robot fuckstick. Oh, shots fired! If you haven't cured your borderline personality disorder, then your intelligence will be more likely to slow the progress of mankind than advance it. Borderline personality disorder? Do you even know what that is? He displayed nary a sign of anything close to borderline personality disorder. Yes, good white knight, suck on that bad egg cock of his. So, you know, citation needed. A citation for an insult? Man, your feelings for Marble is incredible. I heard that your hero Marbles left YouTube because Fun With Logic pretty much exposed him. Okay, sir, you need to fix your schizophrenia before you make another video. So now you're calling him a psycho, eh? Citation needed. See, I'm using your own logic. Perhaps you should read I Never Promised You a Rose Garden? It's a book about a schizophrenic girl who's, who goes to her own world and requires help. I'm sure you two can relate. Think of your intelligence like it's a broken leg. <laughs> keep it raised, keep it cast, and do not use it <laughs> for at least a couple of months. And then start gradually doing some recuperative exercises, routines, therapy, whatever, until you can come to an understanding that in order to walk, you must put one foot in front of the other and not straight up your fucking ass. <laughs> that was probably how you broke it. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Wow. Just wow. If this is how you want to debate, folks, then you're going to lose terribly. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.